The next set of digital devices that we are going to buy will be the ones called wearables. The fitness bands, smart watches, anything that fits on your wrist. Today we are going to review Goki Band, the second iteration from Indian entrepreneur Vishal Gondal. The major differentiator with this Goki Band is the coach experience. You get an offline coach who tries to help you gain your fitness activities with some very basic metric data. First, firstly, you select the coach from the app on your on your preference. The coach takes all the basic details for the first few days, like what food you eat on a day-to-day -day basis, how much steps you take every day, and then once the fitness goal is set, this coach suggests you the right parameters, right metrics, what to be taken and what not. Once you start following this, sure you are going to get achieve the fitness that you have set for yourself. Like every other fitness band available in the market, Goki Band also features a core. Pop it out and it works just like a charm. Pressing this plus sign on the top lights the display which shows you the time, date, calories burnt, amount of steps taken and it even converts these steps into kilometers and hours of walking every day. You can either increase them or decrease them as per your liking, as per your fitness targets. Goki has added a neat little feature called Karma Points, a social feature which helps you incentivize your steps into a social cause. It's, it works very simply. Every time you complete 390 steps, Goki rewards you with one Karma Point. This one Karma Point can then be given to any social cause like empowerment of women or child education. Right now, the app has very limited, limited two causes to donate to but there is a sure confirmation that they are adding more courses in the later stage. Any fitness band needs a really good app to make the whole experience smoother. And Goki has somehow failed in that. In the initial few days, it had a really terrible app, but now they have sent a new update which fixes a lot of the flaws with the first app. Firstly, it gives you every data that you need right at the center of the screen. You can quickly log your data, you can quickly jump through all the settings till it has some flaws like sometimes it fails to detect the band which is very very important. If you can't detect the band then you can't log the data. Secondly, the whole app experience is not as smooth as Fitbit or Jawbone. Goki is working on that and maybe we see future updates fixing, fixing these flaws. Goki Band's competitors include Fitbit on the higher end and Xiaomi's Mi Band on the lower end. If you have money, Fitbit is the best choice. But if you want something which just tracks steps, then Xiaomi's Mi Band is the best option right now. Goki Band is based on a subscription model where you don't really buy the band, you buy a subscription for 3 months, 6 months or 1 year. It includes a commitment and then if you are somebody who is looking to gain fitness with the help of a coach, Goki Band is the best choice right now in the market.